There's that female image I was telling you about the other day. <clears throat> She's still got a mustache though in this way, but it's all right. <clears throat> she, might come, she might come in, but there's her other eye this time. Where am I? Where am I? Up here. That's one eye. Right here. And the other one's right here. And then... The hairdo. You see the hairdo around her. That's not her angle, but I'm still pointing shit out to you just to tell you. of this stuff's really cool man like this guy here right with the eye eye nose mouth right here he's got something coming out of his mouth you might think it's a pipe or a smoking device or something like that but i've been in on a whole bunch of times it doesn't work out to anything like that and then you got this one baby face eyes are real close together tight eye eye nose right here with this mustache beard looking thing and uses that same hairdo that I was telling you about this, see the big forehead. I'll 
crop all these out for you and we'll go in image by image by image. It's on fucking believable, man. And it's really unbelievable. What's unbelievable to me is that we never seen it. We missed it. What our conscious minds. Our conscious minds won't even accept it. Our subconscious mind soaks it up all the time. Everywhere we go, everywhere you are, your subconscious mind is soaking up this imagery. <coughs> Okay, the canine that I'm always showing you guys with the uh, glasses, with the sunglasses, right? The nose right here, mouth right here. You see the way the lip goes up, the side of the lip right here, the cheek, whatever. Looks like a canine more than human in this direction. Well, right now you can see more of it. This jiggy jaggy line and the rest of the face, and you can see the way how big it's really going to be. This is going to be its mouth right here of that huge fucking image. There's a lot of them that are real big like that. You'll be able to, once you catch them, you'll get them, and then you'll remember them.
Yeah, I'm watching a video right now of my first experiment with the um, with the new hydron cropper. And that new hydron cropper works really fucking good, man. I'm looking at the screen. You can't miss this. You, you, there's no way. There's no fucking way. So anybody, that means all these people that are coming to my videos, hundreds of them, looking for Harold Cott's answers, right? Because they see Harold Cott's name. They want to know what's up with it. So they come here. They see what I'm showing them. And then make some snide comment. And then walk away. Isn't that fucking unbelievable? To me it is. You're seeing it. And then not only that, but the asshole on the screen is telling you, you can go look for yourself and you're going to see the same fucking thing. He's telling you how to cut the angles. Uh, he's telling you, explaining to you why it is that way. Because that is the system. It's an electromagnetic nanocarbon system and you can see it all from the veil to the ground. Are you fucking kidding me? All your space alien bullshit stories should go right out the fucking window. As soon as this, this happens like this, no, nope, not in this fucking time, no way. I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's in my way. You seeing it better now? It's coming around for your angle. Okay, so the eye, remember I talked about it in an earlier video, so eye, eye, nose, mouth, the canine mouth is going away now and it's becoming more human looking as it's coming around to you. So keep an eye on it with the big sunglasses I was saying. And then this is going to be its actual eyes, not sunglasses, because look, nothing going back that way on this angle. That way there is. But not on this particular angle, there's not. So it's going to be these big, dark, darkened eyes, which you'll probably get the pupils of. It's still staying canine, actually, really, because look, look at the mouth. You know, so it's still pretty canine. But I know it's going to go human in a couple minutes as it's coming around. I see all the other images too. It's image within image within image, I know. And then, you know, when you see your all-seeing eye, you know, for you Freemason fucking freaks out there who love all the Freemason bullshit stories, the all-seeing eye is everywhere. They're, it's fucking everywhere. You can't get away from them. They're in your grass, your trees, your ice, your snow. I was saying that in other videos that got deleted is that the whole Freemason thing, it's almost, you know, I don't think the, the bottom of the barrel average Joe Freemasons know all this. But it seems to me that somebody somewhere knows all the shit that I'm telling you and they already know it. And it's used against us. Because um, the numbers fall into the angles that I'm telling you about. When you, when you start paying attention to all these angles, if you put numbers on the angles, they're the angles for optimum perception of the imagery. And then, when I'm telling you about the um, the triangles, you know, they're always talking about triangles, and they're giving their secret, secret triangle handshake, and their secret triangle messaging, and all that. Same fucking thing. It, it's the builder. Those are the builders. The builders are triangular builders. Just, they're triangular pixels, if you, if you want to think of them that way. 
uh, that builds everything in this realm. They're triangular shapes. Those are the builders. So I don't know if the Freemasons know that's why they're worshiping triangles or not. Maybe they don't know. Uh, but they certainly are doing the right thing because that's what everybody should be doing. Instead of worshiping false gods, false Satan, false space aliens, false governments, false every fucking thing, false, 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 bunch of bullshitters. Um, Same thing goes for, uh, they, hand, they, they say shh, they put their hand over their lips and say shh, you know, it's the big secret, as if they know, I don't know if they do, I don't get the impression that they really do, they just know there's a fucking secret, you're paying me my paycheck, I'm a rock star, I'm a fucking YouTube star, whatever, and you're paying me my paycheck and you want me to worship fucking, uh, triangles, okay, whatever, I will. And then, uh, same thing with the all-seeing eye. They cover one eye. You know, they do that whole thing where they cover one eye. I mean, look at all the fucking eyes that are around you. Go, Just go look around. And, you know, again, you're going to have to drop anything you've ever been told, taught, learned, accidentally, incidentally, from school, uh, books, anything, purposely, whatever. Forget it all. It's a wash. Get rid of it all. You, you don't fucking need any of it. It's only going to harm you. When you're going to look at what I'm trying to show you. If you're going to look at the real system. You can't keep thinking that this moon is a big ball of fucking cheese. Floating around in outer space. You know. Yeah. It goes around us at 2200 miles an hour. And we're spinning at 1100 miles an hour. And we're going through the vast of outer space at 10,000 miles an hour around the sun. And then going through outer space with the sun at another 10 million miles an hour. Fuck you, you bunch of fucking liars. Fucking earth that we stand on is not doing any movement, but yet 7.8 billion people all fucking believe it. And then when people are ready to wake up for whatever reason, whether it is the veil being lifted or whatever the reason is, people are awakening, trying to. And then what are they awakening to? More lies, more bullshit stories, more programs, false programs. The earth is flat. Everybody jumps on the flat earth bandwagon. Everybody meaning, you know, a few hundred thousand people. So a few hundred thousand out of the 7.8 billion zombies, that's no worry to the 7.8 billion zombies that a few hundred thousand people wake up to this uh, new religion that they call an old religion. Yeah, we're going to go with the geocentric model. Well, the geocentric model was also bullshit. They fucking lied to you. They told they told you the constellations with the with the, uh, everything. Everything they told us in them fucking days was also just a big lie. So now you have the opportunity to go see it all for yourself, and we can fix it all and we can straighten it all out. No, too many fucking zombies, too many zombies. That's why I'm realizing. I, I realized that. I mean, I realized that a couple of years ago there was no way I was going to get anywhere with any of this. Uh, just with family and friends, you know, just family and friends alone was enough to let me know. I'm like, oh my God. So I, you can, they will not even look, you know, I'm, I'm fucking showing it to them. I got their heads stuffed in the fucking camera lens. And I'm like, you see this? You see that? You see this? Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, what are they going to do? They bring it back to God. They bring it back to Satan. I'm like, no, no, you got to look a little more than that. You can't just look at one image of a cat and say that that's God sending you a signal, you know, or uh, space aliens are, yeah, yeah, that's, that's normal, space aliens are always doing that shit, you know, or uh, it's a government, it's a holographic image, governments, governments are doing that, they're putting holographic images in the clouds, okay, well, let's take a walk over here then and I'll show you the rocks, 
How is it that the governments are putting fucking the same exact imagery, feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast? How is it that the government's using the same exact triangular pixels to do the clouds as they are to build that rock? Can you explain that? Of course they cannot. And they won't even, they already stopped looking by that time anyways. I mean, by the time that happens, we got it. It's already too late. They already ran away, and then I'll never get them again because <laughs> because that's the way it goes, man. That's just the way it goes. Where the fuck was I? Got you right now in a whole big row of faces right up the fucking line. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them that should be standing out at you. Easy, you know, right in your face. I'm showing you the angles. I'm showing you the color spectrum. I'm showing it all to you. No secret. No, no games. This is what it is. But then again, you know, I'm watching my videos back over here in this other computer. This is unfucking believable. I mean, the imagery's fucking banging. And I still got people coming in and asking me what it's about. Oh, uh, can you tell me a little bit about what you're talking about? No, go watch the fucking videos, man. <sighs> fucking unbelievable. I don't even believe that those people are real people. When they ask me shit like that, I don't believe they're real people. I'm supposed to come in and explain 30 hours worth of fucking explanation in order to, in one little fucking uh, box uh, that I'm going to write in? No. No, that's the whole point of doing a series. I do plenty of talking throughout my videos. It's just that you don't want to hear what I got to say. That's the problem. If I was saying, hey, look at the space aliens, you guys would all fucking jump for it. Hey! Or if it was uh, something religious. Oh, hey, look, hey, God, we finally got evidence of God. We found the fucking... Hey. Or, uh, or if I had some other kind of drama. The, the Satan, Satan is here. The devil is here. And he's going to... He's taking back his plane. And the, he's taking back his flat earth, the devil is. And if I had that going on, everybody would be all over it. Hey, oh. But no, you try to give people fucking reality, not enough drama for them. There's not enough fucking drama.
like I said, I figured you space alien guys would love all this. This one back here and stuff. Looks like it's in the cave. It looks like a cave area. It's not. That's a. There's another rat looking thing right here. There's a evil looking fucking rat right here. He's got a body too. It's, an, it's one of the body images on a rodent. Not a rat face, but a uh, rodent face. And see the little legs. See the little legs and feet on him. He's got a body with him. This one right here. I. I. Snout and mouth. Down here, right there. And of course, his body is, is uh, another face. See how too when I'm changing the angles for you. What I'm doing is I'm bringing you in on these faces here. I'm giving you all the different faces in the uh, what they call the seashell on the moon. But you see the human face right here with the eye, eye, nose, and mouth looking out at you. And then as we flip this around and as we change angles, a lot of images in there. The most popular one for me, anyways, for the one I like the most. And he is a hard angle to get at, but I'll get him later. This is one eye. His other eye's over here. This is his nose. And he's inside some kind of wearing apparel, his face. And he's a very large image. He's very clear. I can get him very clear. It's almost like he's inside of a snowsuit or a, a scuba gear or something like that. Again, uh, black skin. Uh, it's a black man in there. And a lot of times the facial features, just like with that other one too, you can change the nationality look. It'll go from the wider nose, dark skin, and then as, as you change angles, the skin will lighten up at another angle and the nose changes. And you're like, what the fuck? You know, it's unbelievable, you know. So, yeah, here comes that other face a little better for you now too, coming in in the seashell. And then, you know, again, pay attention to all these areas that you're not seeing any imagery. Just look at the look at the marks. Number one, notice all the triangles everywhere. Look at them all by the bazillions. Little tiny fucking triangles everywhere you look. All right, but besides that, look at the patterns. Look at the tracing. Look at the outlines of the images, right? Because you're not going to see them clearly. Like, for example, here comes the wizard. The wizard's coming through here. One of the wizard's eyes right here. It's not very clear to you. I, I just know the imagery. The nose is right here. And the other eye is going to be right here. Here it comes. So now we're going to catch the wizard's left eye, the wizard's right eye, and the wizard's forehead and nose, but it's not going to be clear at all to you. That's why I'm saying, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's why I'm running them through on all these different ways, on paper, on the computer, digitally running them through my telescope for you, the moon, and so I can pull the images directly for you. So that you can see how this works. It's, it's very simple, and it's very visual, and anybody can see it, can all see it, but it's going to, you know, it's going to go against everything you were ever told. It certainly goes against anything Harold's ever teaching you and anything that Wolfus is ever teaching you guys.
Another thing I've been trying to do and trying to leave it in, and Wolfus has not said anything about any of this or nothing yet. I don't know why. See the glare, how I'm leaving the glare over here? That's the imagery. That's the moon's real imagery. So I'm just leaving the glare there purposefully. So when I go like this and I'm moving back and forth, look how clear the imagery is. For example, you see this eye that goes with this nose and this other eye? See the other eye? This eye is in the glare. But look how much more detail you get in that particular glare right there, okay? All right, so in that, just in that glare alone, you got eye, eye, nose, mouth open, looking up that way, right? Then you got one eye and the other eye here in the dark, in the shadow, and this right here in the glare with a mouth open here. So eye, eye, nose, mouth open. Then up here, you got eye looking down, eye, nose, and mouth. Look at, the, look at this fucking image. Look at the fucking detail in that fucking image. So I could certainly pull my glare around and fuck with my glare and bring it around for you. But I'm trying to purposely let people see this on their own, right? So as the moon's turning right here, I got the moon on photograph turning. This is, this is crap that I wouldn't be able to show you if we were on the computer right now. Um, if I did do it on the computer, I would be accused of computer hackery, uh, CGI. I would be accused of all kinds of other shit. By here on a photograph, what I'm able to do is show you and point out to you and say, okay, remember this, remember this image right here, class? Okay, so I was showing you eye, eye, nose, and mouth open with the tongue sticking out and the tooth broken here and all that, right? I was showing you that one, and then I was explaining to you in those videos that if I stretch them, I can get this other, see the other eye way over here? You can clearly see right now. That makes his face go from this, from this, to this. Because we stretch the eye out, we stretch the face out. It's image within image within image from the veil to the ground. I can show you the hairdos. Uh, this is only one hairdo of this particular image. And then you might be seeing upside down because the other image that is uh, with the barrel chest is here upside down to you is eye, eye, sunglasses on the face. Remember, sunglasses below. So eye, eye, sunglasses, and mouth of that image, but it's upside down to you right now. Image with an image with an image with an image from the veil to the ground. You can see it all for yourself. And look at this one, it's coming up now. It's coming through now with the, see the eye, eye, nose, mouth open. And now you're gonna see it coming through a little better. And I'm gonna let them all do that. I'm gonna leave that glare there purposely. And I've been doing that throughout the videos. I have not heard fucking one word from Mufus about any of this crap. Which it's, I mean, it's right there. It's, it's too obvious. I'm too good at bringing it to you now. I mean, I, you, everybody out there must be fucking scrambling, and I, I would think, you know, all the, the bullshitters, you know, all the bullshit artists, all of them, even mainstream. You know, you may think, Wolfish, that, you know, everybody's too big for some nobody and all this. It doesn't matter, man. I don't have to fucking get at millions of viewers. I don't need, not the way that I'm doing it. I only need to get at one. And then if that one turns out to be a lying motherfucker like the rest, right? Then I just move on to the next one. I'm only after one, maybe two at a time. That's about it. And it's when they wake up, if they wake up, if one of these people that I call out does wake up and go look at what it is I'm showing them, then you'll have your guy who's got thousands or millions of viewers and he'll be the hero. He's the one that you want to prop up in your fake ass fucking system. For the guy who came out and saved the world or whatever the fuck it is you're going to tell everybody. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I only feel a drive to show this to everybody because the system wants to be seen. And as I've been seeing it, I'm thinking to myself as it was going on, I'm thinking, I cannot keep my mouth shut about this. 
I don't give a, I mean, it's, it's all coming together too good now. It's not like uh, you've seen a couple images in a tree one night when you were drunk or doing some acid or you had a flashback when you were doing some drugs or something like that and, and you saw some images and therefore you're not never going to say anything. I'm not going to tell nobody. I'll just mention that, hey, I dropped some acid last week and I saw images in the trees or whatever. Um what was probably happening now that I look back over the years is probably anybody that did see anything like that was probably seeing the real system and they were telling themselves that they were not allowed to see it. So then as soon as they, their drugs wore off or their, their high or whatever it was, they were taking mushrooms, whatever hallucinogenic, they called it. As soon as they wore off, they'd have a recollection of the, uh, they would call it a, a dream. They wouldn't even consider it reality. We had it all backwards the whole fucking time. And our parents had to train us that way too. No, no, no. You believe in all this fake shit that you cannot see. You got to believe in Santa Claus, Easter Bunny. You're going to have to believe in uh, uh, governments and uh, taxes. And you're going to have to believe in space aliens and outer space. We're going to tell you all kinds of shit about the sun and the moon that don't even happen. But you're going to have to take our word for it that it happens this way. Because that's the education system for you. That fucking, We're going to teach you all kinds of useless math that you should never ever need ever in your life for any job or any career. But we're going to waste a lot of your childhood teaching you this math that you will never need. Okay, and then we're going to make sure that the science is not based on any reality. History, no reality. We're going to give you the false history books and the false history lessons, and you're going to take it and deal with it. But any reality that you've seen, Mom, Dad, that's really cool. Look at when the sun hits those trees right there. I can see all the faces in the trees. I see dogs and cats, and I see a lot of human. Look at a human face. Look at this one, Dad. Look at Mom. Look. Oh, wow. So there's feline, canine, rodents, apes, human. Oh, that one's scary. That's a beast. Look at the beast, Dad. Look at that. Son, you cannot see this. Don't ever tell anybody. That was real fun that you did that. But don't ever do it again. But it's okay for Santa Claus. It's okay for the Easter Bunny. It's okay for fucking God. It's okay for Jesus Christ. It's okay for Allah. It's okay for Buddha. It's okay for all these other fucking religions out there. It's okay for the space aliens. And even, you know, that's all okay. Unbelievable. tell you scientific reasons for the weather and give you weather channels and people go to the weather channel to know what the weather is going to be. How fucking silly. The weather is controlled. Hurricanes, tornadoes, rain, thunder, lightning, it's all controlled. We control it. The 7.8 billion zombies who are denying it, they all control it. That definitely looks like a bird beak coming down this way out of this human's mouth, but maybe it's a beard. This is the one that I'm always going, trying to make bird out of. That's the one. And uh, right here I got eye, eye, nose, mouth with a beard going on. That's what I mean. It never comes back bird, but I try. I'm trying. Um... The whole thing's a fuck show, man. 7.8 billion of you motherfuckers and not one of you will wake up. I'm not saying I've, I've reached out to all 7.8 billion yet, but I've reached out to over 10,000. It's been three years, and I've my YouTube channel alone has been out to 10,000 people have been to my channel and left. They come in, nice bitches, and they fucking leave. Or they come in, bitch a little bit. How could you say such a thing about those guys are good, nice guys? You're an asshole, and then they leave, or whatever, you know? It's always something like that, but nobody ever fucking comes in and really looks. I'm waiting for that thing to go beak. I'm waiting for it to turn into a beak. I don't see it yet. Almost, though, huh? Hmm...
Look at that shit, man. <clears throat> okay, so I, I, nose coming down like this, mouth open right here, big fucking hairdo all the way around. What image does that image look like? I'm going to get you in, the, in on that image, that particular one, in about, I already did actually, in about 20, 30 different ways, I'd say, uh, in the videos I've done so far. And I'm going to keep them coming. Again, pay attention to that glare so you don't think that it's, uh, things happening in that glare are false. They're not. They're actually meeting halfway in the glare, halfway over onto this side so you can see the images. You know, that's why I'm doing that. That's why I'm purposely leaving a lot of these things like that. Not that anybody will fucking really look, but what the hell. Well, there's my time.